oftentimes on the internet, especially Twitter, you hear progressives or really left-leaning people say things like, Education should be made more accessible. There should be free college. <laughs> But when you realize through the power of TikTok that the average person probably isn't qualified to flip burgers, let alone rotate a tire, it really puts holes in the idea that college should be more accessible. You wouldn't put a mule in the Kentucky Derby now, would you? Today, we're going to see what the average New York education is like. What country is the Queen of England from? Originally. Um, <laughs> I definitely don't know. No, give me, give me your best guess. I guess a country. Hmm. What is a country again? What? Give me a guess. This is embarrassing. Um, what is a country? What is a country? What is a country? Canada. <laughs> yes. Did she say what? 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 Now, obviously, the correct answer would be. The Leaning Tower of Dildo? Incorrect. You know, England, London, wherever the hell these people are from, nothing personal to my English friends. And if you wanted to split hairs, you could say she was descended from Germans, if I remember correctly. But mother of God, I'd play it again, but I fear I'd lose brain cells. Why would she say Canada? This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend. Raid has taken over, and gaming will never be the same again. Raid is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone with hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills. One of my favorite champions is Ultra Death Knight, simply for the lulls. And Deliana, because, you know, she's a hot elf chick and she looks like my ex-girlfriend. But never mind me, this month is huge for Raid. They just released a brand new faction, the Sylvan Watchers. With some amazing new champions, Forest Elves, Ents, Druids, and Fays. They're all here, and I can't wait to summon them all to play with. And if that's not enough, Raid's got a full lineup of events, along with a new season of Forge Pass, where you can get your hands on some of the most powerful gear the game has ever seen. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive reward in Raid right now. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click the link in the description or scan my QR code you'll get a unique bonus worth $30. We're talking a free champion, Burgess, 200k silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard. So you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All these treasures will be waiting for you here. And it's that easy. Just click the link in the description, and I'll see you in game. Yes. Do you know what time this is? Oh God, not the clock again. Not the clock. Jesus Christ, don't make the kids look at a clock. But let's just see where this kid takes it. Jesus Christ. He's got his hands in his pants for God's sakes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, uh, 245. Yes. And he don't, he, he, he did take his hand out of his pants once. The modern day Al Bundy. And take that hand out of your pants. It's a filthy little habit. <laughs> How can you sit there and say school needs to be more accessible? College needs to be more accessible. So like we could all pay taxes for a bunch of people. They can't even tell time unless it's an Apple watch. Do you know what country the Great Wall of China is in? Country? Yeah. If you had to guess. Japanese? Yes. You, you, you. Why do you gotta be Wah. me? For real, I went to school in New York. In my high school, most of the kids that graduated couldn't read. And I see that nothing has changed. Do you know what the third month of each year is? You can't mess this up. Ain't that leap year or something? <laughs> oh my god. Leap year, girl! <laughs> leap year! Oh! Oh my head. How does she even know what a leap year is? Number one, I guarantee you she couldn't even tell you what month is the month that is less days of the year for a leap. Oh. oh my god, I give up. What? I gotta get out of here. I can't watch these, Stu. It's not worth it. 
<laughs> that girl looks like she looks like Beetlejuice. <laughs> she looks like the mayor of Chicago. <laughs> Looking just as fried out and confused. Do you know what 15% of 100 is? <laughs> Around what it is, if you had to guess. Probably like 75. I don't know. Yes. The funny thing is, like, you have women that can't do math in these things, but they'll be quick to tell you they need a man that makes $100,000 a year. Say you make 100000 a year, right? So that ring's supposed to be... 25000 I should make per year. Um, depends where they live. I mean, if I'm, like, dating them, it'd be nice if they were at least making 100000 A million? Two million? 120K. Eight. So... How would they even know a man makes $100,000 a year? They're this bad at math. You could lie to a chick. Make $10,000 a year, show her the check. She'll be like, oh, I knew you was making money, baby. Do you know what country we gained our independence from? Spain. What? Yeah. Bro, let me see that one again, because he looked like he was proud of that. Do you know what country we gained our independence from? Spain. Yeah. I don't want to speak badly of because he's black. But I have to admit, he's observably stupid. Dude, what the hell are kids doing in school? What's going on? I mean, I was stupid. Believe me. Full, like, my teacher is just to go, don't expect anything from him. He's borderline retarded. <laughs> These kids, they make me feel like I'm smart. <laughs> I'm going to start playing this video every day when I wake up. Whenever I'm down on myself, I'm playing this. I'm just like, I can't do it. I'm stupid. I'm useless. I'm ugly. I'm a loser. I'm just going to watch this and I'm going to start feeling like the man. How many inches are in two feet? Come on, baby girl. It's 12 inches in a foot, honey. You can do it. I don't know. <laughs> Around how many inches? How come she don't know how many inches in two feet? But I'd be dead if she don't demand a man that's six foot tall. How is it women always require something with numbers, but they can't count? <laughs> I need me a six foot tall man, girl. <laughs> the next time a woman like tries to reject you for your height and she goes, I need a man that's at least six feet tall. Ask her how many inches are at six feet and watch your head explode. Um, if you had to guess. Five? Yeah. Five! Five. You know what? I saw a news article recently where it's like school teachers were making only <laughs> classroom. And I understand why. It's probably more fulfilling. Do you know what country the Panama Canal is in? No. If you had to guess, like, what do you think it sounds like it's in? Guess a country. Europe. Wow. Can you name all the mo- Oh my God. No way, dude. There's no way. This girl doesn't know all the months in a year. Yes. Can you name all the months? September, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Wait, what? Play that again. September, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. It's just wrong. Yes. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. She skipped a couple months. She's like September, January, February. Baby girl. When October, November, December go. <laughs> Like, you think she will remember December for Christmas alone. You gotta love how, like, she thinks she's smart there too, right? And there's a little dance in a celebratory moment. I feel sorry for guys coming up. You got no shot in hell of marrying a woman that's stable. It's just not happening. There's no way you could have a successful relationship with a woman that doesn't even know all the most in the year. Because that's just a clear sign. She's not fully invested in reality. Country the Panama Canal is in? Panama? Spain? She was so close. I was like, oh, she got it. And she says Spain. I ain't even bothering. Yes. What do we call a, a shape with five sides? Pretty sure it's an octagon, right? No, no, I'm thinking a pentagon. Is it an octagon? Wait, that's six. That's eight. Octagon is eight. Is it a stop sign? No! Is it a stop sign? Do you know what year the U.S. was founded? Oh, no. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> the year the U.S. was founded, 
1776, I believe. And then in 1876, America lost its first war with the Native Americans at the Battle of Little Bighorn. But that's a little bit too much information. Around when, if you had to guess here. I do not know. Um. <laughs> Give me your best guess. What is she going to say? What is she going to say? I got to know. I'm going to say B.C. I'm B.C.? Keep it at BC era, Give me I'm... a number, B.C. B.C. Before Christ. Baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 18 some. This is why people think New Yorkers suck. We probably shouldn't have an opinion on anything because most of our residents just have no cognizant inability. That's obvious. They have no interest in anything outside of themselves and the newest Air Force Ones. Something, 1800s. BC? Yeah. Yes. 1800s BC. How many weeks in a year? Uh, Come on, Playboy. Nah. <laughs> Uh, weeks in a year? I don't know. I can't count the weeks. Four, 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 four times 12, 24 weeks? 52. Yes. How many, I gotta see what this black girl says. How many different moons does the Earth have? No way. You can't get this wrong. There's no way in hell you can get this wrong. Four. 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 What? I'm out. I'm out. Four, four. I gotta play that again, actually. The look on her face. Four, four. She's not here. That girl's in another dimension. <laughs> like, does Saturn have four moons? Yep, four moons for Saturn. So basically, the poor girl wasn't thinking of Earth at the time. But I highly doubt she knows how many moons Saturn has. What am I doing? Why am I trying to rationalize a Zoomer stop process? This is what happens when your brain is on TikTok. 